guys, something surprising will happen to Yamoshi and it'll be named the new Goddess of Destruction. But it doesn't end because Goku will manage to find the legendary sword Excalibur. But for that, a new transformation will have to be activated. The true Super Saiyan God will appear. And you're gonna see all of this now, so give your like. Let's hit the goal of 3,000 likes. I'm counting on you. Anyway, once that's done, come with me. In the seventh universe. Currently in the seventh universe, more precisely in Yuiko's house, it was possible to see Whis, Yuiko, Goku, Vegeta, Yamoshi, and Kukuwan together in the place. Everyone was surprised to hear that Goku knew the location of the handle of the Excalibur sword, that by what Kukuwan had spoken was on planet Earth, on an island in the middle of the sea. And by coincidence, Goku knew very well where it was. After all, this island was one of the places where Goku had trained with Master Roshi, the man who had taught Goku to use the Kamehameha in the past when the Saiyan was still a young child. Whis said, Is the Excalibur sword on Master Roshi's island? Well, judging by the description of the place, it seems to be there. And I remember once feeling a strange energy coming from below that island. At the time, the divine energy I was feeling was very weak, so I thought it was just a simple divine artifact given to humans by some very ancient deity. And as this artifact was under the sea, I thought it would be the trident of the god of the seas, Poseidon, said the angel while remembering that he had already felt a divine energy coming from somewhere underneath the island where Kami lived. But that energy was so weak that it couldn't be something important. That's what the angel thought at the time. Vegeta said, Poseidon, are you talking about Poseidon, the god of the seas, and one of the most powerful gods in the Greek-Roman pantheon? Asked the prince of the Saiyans while looking at the angel, full of surprise. Whis said, exactly. Humans already worshipped these gods in the past, but at that time they were really alive and lived among humans. But because of a war called Ragnaroks, they ended up being eliminated. And with that, their artifacts and weapons ended up spreading across the planet. And as I said before, I thought that divine power I felt was from the trident of Poseidon. But in reality, it was not from the trident, but from Excalibur's sword," said the angel while remembering the time when he met some of the divine beings who lived among the mortals on planet Earth. Kukuan said, It doesn't matter if some beings were divine and existed on the planet called Earth in the past. What matters now is for you to recover the Excalibur sword, and then take the other fragments of it so that you can defeat Hiroki at once said the Namekian while looking for everyone present, making everyone pay attention back to the original goal which was to get Excalibur and remove all its fragments in order to face and defeat Hiroki once and for all. Whis said, Now the big question, who will use Excalibur? Because no one here knows how to use a sword, and from what has been said, only someone with a pure heart can use the sacred sword. So we have three options. In that case, Mr. Goku, Mr. Vegeta or Yamoshi, who have pure hearts, enough to use Excalibur. In fact, Miss Yuiko also has it, but she can't leave the village to get the sword, so it's not an option at the moment," said the angel while looking at the three saints present in that place, who began to look around. Yamoshi said, This will only be between Goku and Vegeta, because Hiroki will notice if I suddenly get one of the Excalibur shards, because I'm pretty sure he knows about the Holy Sword and I believe Hiroki must have one of the shards of Excalibur. So when Goku or Vegeta pulls out this holy sword and unites it with all the other fragments, Hiroki will know that the Excalibur sword is back, and I'm sure he'll go after the current user of it. And if he thinks that I'm the current holder of the sword, he could get very angry, and for sure he could destroy the planet completely, along with all those who live on it," said the ancestor of the Saiyans before sighing heavily because Yamoshi thought that Hiroki already had a fragment of Excalibur, which probably should have been corrupted because of Hiroki's evil power. Whis said, That's true, but in addition to the Excalibur problem, I'm worried about the position of Mr. Beerus, since he's badly injured and will not be able to act as the god of destruction of the seventh universe. And from the information I received, it seems that some of the survivors of the beings who came from the same dimension as Kiyu managed to open a portal to their world. And with that, they managed to bring more warriors from their home world. And these warriors are invading all universes. We will need our god of destruction to defeat them all. And this will be a big problem. Because unfortunately, I am an angel. I cannot face these warriors from another dimension. Because of the rules created by my father, preventing me from fighting someone. 
even though they are from another dimension, said the angel while looking at everyone who was present there and ended up being surprised by the news. But everyone was more surprised to hear Beerus' voice in the place. Beerus said, I won't let that happen. I don't have all my power, but I can easily face those beings from the other dimension, said the god of destruction when he arrived at the place with a large part of his body bandaged, preventing everyone from seeing his scars. Goku said, Mr. Beerus, you should be sleeping and resting right now since you're still weak, said the Saiyan surprised by the fact that Beerus was awake and looking at everyone at that moment. Beerus spoke, I'm well enough to deal with these vermin that are coming from another dimension, said the God of Destruction while looking at Whis, who was looking with a certain concern at his God of Destruction. Yamoshi said, Since it's like that, then I'm going to take the position of God of Destruction temporarily. After all, Beerus is only like that because he got involved in my personal problems, said the ancestor of the Saiyans, surprising everyone, especially Beerus, who didn't like that. Beerus said, not at all. I knew you were after my God of Destruction position, and I won't hand it over so easily to you, said the God of Destruction very irritated with the ancestor of the Saiyans. But even against his will, Whis extended his staff towards Yamoshi, and suddenly her clothes were replaced by the clothes of a God of Destruction that ended up being very revealing in Yamoshi's body. Whis said, At the moment we are not in a position to choose who should be the current God of Destruction, Yamoshi will temporarily be the goddess of destruction of the seventh universe until Mr. Beerus is in a position to return to that. During that time, Yamoshi will have to go after and face all the beings coming from another dimension, and that is not debatable at the moment, said the angel in a firm tone, which looked at Beerus, who just turned his face with an expression of anger. Yuiko said, now that you finish this pointless discussion, it would be good if you went right after the Excalibur Sword, so that you can put a definitive end to that monster. And you better go soon, because the faster you go, the faster you will return to finish off Hiroki, said the Namekian Elder, as soon as she looked at everyone present. Vegeta said, Yuiko's right, so let's go to Master Roshi's house soon, so we can get the Excalibur Sword, said the Prince of Saiyans while looking at Whis who understood the message. The angel approached the two Saiyans and then they disappeared in a golden light on planet Earth. After leaving the village where Yamoshi and Yuhiko lived, Goku, Vegeta, and Whis went to Earth. There the Saiyans and the angel went to Master Roshi's house, and when they arrived at the place they realized that Master Roshi wasn't there in reality. There was no one on that island. Whis said, Looks like there's no one here, so let's go right after the sword. I will go first and I will try to remove Excalibur, and then I will leave it to one of you two. So wait for me here, said the angel before entering the water and going towards the holy sword. And now it was several kilometers below the sea. It would be very complicated for Goku or Vegeta to stay there. But when Whis arrived at the place where the sword was, the angel tried to remove the sword that was stuck in the ground. But Whis could not remove the sword, and with that he returned to the place where Goku and Vegeta were. Whis said, I wasn't able to remove Excalibur from the place, so you two will have to go down there. But at the depths is too great, you'll have to use these diving suits," said the angel, holding two similar diving suits, the clothes that we used to train with Whis when they first met, and without hesitation, both Saiyans put on the clothes and entered the sea. Goku and Vegeta, using their energies, managed to reach the place where Excalibur was, and when they arrived, Vegeta took the front and tried to withdraw the sword, and remembering Kukuan's words, Vegeta transformed into his Super Saiyan God form. But even so, he couldn't pull the sword out of the ground, even using all his strength. Goku seeing that Vegeta was unable to remove Excalibur from the ground, he took its place and also transformed into Super Saiyan God. And using all his strength, Goku tried to remove the sword from the place, but his strength was not enough. At that moment, Goku began to release such a large amount of energy that it began to make the surrounding water become hot and evaporate upon contact with the surface of Goku's suit. And with an explosion of energy, Goku's suit ended up destroying itself, and the sword that was previously struck in the ground ended up being removed. And at the moment, Vegeta ended up scarring to see that Goku was different because his costume had been destroyed, and his body had a large amount of white hair, and even the tail of a Saiyan that Goku had lost for years had returned, leaving Vegeta in shock. 
The one in front of everyone was the true Super Saiyan God transformation. With that, we end today's video. If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of likes in the video and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you another day, guys.